Hello everybody, it is me, Nilsey, back again for another Transformers review. Firstly, I just want to say a quick, um, I just want to say a quick sorry for this final, third and final part of my Combiner Wars uh, set for Victorian. Combiner Wars Victorian. Uh, I just want to say a big sorry for the wait. I've been quite busy with work. My time for making videos has kind of dwindled because of it, so, and plus I've as you maybe might be able to f tell from this video, I'm not very well at the moment. I want to get this done, so because uh, unless I'm just gonna, it's just gonna keep going on and on and on. I join you today for my final part of this video series. The first figure I'm gonna be doing is uh, Pirate Magna. The next one will be Jumpstream. Then I'm gonna do the final combination and then final review on Victorion herself. Let's get Pirate Magna out of the uh, out of the box and. Let's have a look at her. Here is Power of Magna. This is a, again a retool slash remold. The onslaught and I believe hotspot as well for defense or I really do like this one it's uh, it's interesting I mean I've seen a few people's reviews on this Victorian just to get other people's perspective and a few people aren't very happy by the because obviously this is Victorian's head that's kind of flipped around um, some people well some people don't really like this because it's just like a big green block so for me personally I don't really think it's that much of a problem um, I don't mind it I do agree to the point where it does just look like a big green block right in the front of the car of the vehicle but um, anyway so yeah but anyway like I said like all of them uh, there's Cybertronian writing on both sides of the cabin obviously uh, Autobot symbol very uh, again I really this one though doesn't have as much of the green in the old mode you only get like a little paint little line of green there a little bit of green inside where this thing moves um, and obviously underneath is when obviously you kind of pull it all apart you see there's a little bit on the abdomen, the forearms and the legs. So, right, what I'm going to do is, there's nothing majorly going on with this toy. So I'm going to transform it. Just kind of bring this up like this for now. Extend, so you extend the leg like this, see, so like that, down. Alright, it twists on the foreleg, I believe. Right, so twist round up the four legs, so there's like a twisting mechanism. Bring the front of what was the vehicle up and click into place to make the feet. So, the rest of it, these is the arms. They pop down and a lovely ratchety joint as well. Down, lovely. Then the foot, the whole thing pegs and comes down. Like so, all on pegs. Then flip down the chest and flip up the head, then flip back up the chest to reveal the head. Now this um yeah, I just remembered. Basically you bring it all the way up like this, then this this uh, inside here there's like this black bit here, that comes down. This is hinged just here on that snaps and then so I think that is how the backpack kind of all like turns up uh, kind of bends away and that's just gonna have to be for this review close to there very nice head slump up this I actually really like Paramagna over a majority of the rest I think this is a very very nice there doesn't there isn't really as much um paint application of the green and for some I think that's probably where I, I prefer it more because it seems a lot more um how can I put it 
it just seems a lot more thought out but that is really nice you know you just like you said you've got the bit of green on the shoulders the torso forearms and four legs to the top of the legs Um also I kinda got um the last video review I got a comment from my good friend Smizzy Smizno and I wanna clarify this before I move on with jump st jump stream the next one uh, basically he wanted to know what my thoughts were on the uh, altercated uh, altered um, arms f the, f the the arms and the hands uh, uh, basically the, the differences between the male in a hot spot and uh, onslaught uh, you know that the differences that they've made to make it look more feminine and more like a, like a, like a fembot now basically what I've done here as you can see I have this guy here and you can see when it comes to the arms because obviously this is based this is actually well they are based on him um, the, obviously the differences are this guy has missile launchers on his arms um, but everything else is practically the same. The hands are a little bit more meatier, a bit more, you know, more like a like a like a male fist. You know, it's not like not real refined, and obviously it's just obviously it's, the head sculpt is just a head that like that. So if I bring hair in, if you, because I never really re, re, I didn't really see the differences until I looked closer. Now, as you can see, there's a there's a difference here on her chest. Um, he just has a Decepticon logo on this side, but he doesn't have barely anything on the other side. She actually does have an extra little bit of like mole difference on this side to kind of like balance it out. Obviously, the head sculpts are obviously female to make to make it look obviously. Them what and then if you look at the arms the arms are a bit more they are little they are completely remolded um his are real beefier and hairs are more refined more um a lot more thinner and more elegant in is i think it's a good idea because Rather than having just just um, exactly the same as that um, of him, they've actually fought it out more, where they've actually completely retooled it for both of them to be um, fembots. You know, they, they have completely reconstructed these guy, uh, the, these bots, to not just be. It's a rebranded colour colour and slight just a different head sculpt of these guys. But anyway, so that's why I kinda of think about the idea. It's I like it. I think it's a very clever I, I like it because obviously you can see she's got Paramagna again. Her arms are much more refined and her hands a very nice chrome on her. And I, I, I do like this chrome paint on the hands, it's a nice touch. And it, it suits her face as well. Because she's got chrome on her face, a beautiful face sculpt. Jump stream. Now, jump stream. So, I did uh, Dust Up for the last time. And Dust Up, again, is another car. I, I actually thought when I saw these two, I actually thought these were exactly the same. They were massively different. This one is more based on a Lamborghini by the looks of it. The other one, Dust Up, is more based on a Ferrari. I believe something like that um, right so I approve I like her she's holding on for me because I just I think she's beautiful um, this though I am I'm, I am a, I am a car guy you know I do like my cars and I am a big fan of anything that's trying to emulate a Ferrari, a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. And this one wins for me because I like the big massive wheels on the back and the small on the front. And the same with, I think there's a similar thing to Dust Up. 
Um, I just really like it. Again, you've got Sabch running right in on the side of of her as well, and the all, all bot symbol. Like I said before, there's a lot of green and a lot of the orange. Other people may vary with this opinion, but I really do think this is an interesting colour scheme. I've never really seen this being attempted on a toy before, and I do admire Hasbro from take, taking such a plunge into making such an interesting colour scheme, because I've never seen anything like it before. Transform hair. Um, right, let's see. So the back here, on pegs. So it unpegs and comes down and kind of pegs back in again. The spoiler then flips down to, to make like a heel, I believe. And then the yellow flaps, or the orange flaps, sorry, come down to make feet. Then let's go to the side. Sort the arms out. So if you bring the arms completely out, bring them up. That brings the whole joint and everything com completely up. Then the windscreen just bring down and then bend the entire front end of the vehicle down. Now what you do is the head, I believe, is inside here. So let me... Okay, so... Here is Jumpstream in her robot mode. So, yeah, that basically when it comes to the chest, you have to make sure it's all lined up. It is a little bit of a messing around a little bit sometimes with the, the this the, with the back here, but it clips, it pushes into a little part on the top there, reveals the head, and it all just nicely folds down to make uh, the full chest. The legs are very. This is a very interesting little bot. It kind of grows on you the more you look at her because it's um well she, she stands at the same stature of majority of the rest but she's got very stubbly little legs the, the the way that the legs kind of extend they don't seem to extend as much as the others uh, it's obviously it's a completely different um mold and everything entirely but it's a very interesting very interesting little little world and again it has that kind of head that head sculpt kind of uh, reminds me of RC you kind of get like an RC vibe from it Um, the arms again very feminine very f very like slim line and it has very it has like a mixture of like a silver paint and green inside for the hands you can't really see any differences with the hands, but they are a little bit more feminine. Um, the, the whole chest plate, she actually does have... Uh, she actually does uh, have an actual feminine chest. Um, if you look at the way that it's kind of designed. Now she has kind of these like lapels, or whatever you want to call them. They, they on the sh on the way that the you know, kind of comes up here. Um, let's get on to the weapons. Okay, so... Right, so the weaponry, this is a two part, it kind of like comes in the boxes two parts, the, this axe bit and the, the staff, or, I apologise, bonfire night, I'm making a review, not a good idea. Power of Agnes axe, because obviously will go into her hand, like, and it all, all these weapons are very well, the, the way that they've done the hands, Perfectly allows them to hold the weapons. They well compensates them, and it's not over the top. I don't think. I think it. This. I think that really does suit her very well. Now this um, jump stream. She has this part, um, which is like a shield, and they all combine to make one massive sword for Victorium. So right now, here's the clincher. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come off camera going to come back and each part's going to be in its combined mode and then we are going to get in there with Victorion because I've been waiting for this I've been really looking forward to getting Victorion all set up so I can finally display her in all of her glory and awesomeness and finally I believe this is all kind of correct I'm doing this off the box just to be more direct in the review 
Um, according to the box, obviously, as you can see, this is how it's supposed to kind of look. So as you can see, this is the basic layout of what it kind of says on the back of the box. So you've got dust up and a jump stream, which are both their arms, and I've got them as it should be, kind of by the box you don't have to go by the box obviously the beautiful thing about these uh as the thing i love about these toys are is that you can have these as legs and you can have these as arms you don't really have to have them as it says which i think is really good and obviously you've got the twins there as the legs as you can see these are the, the hands and the feet so as you can see compared to um the original release of the Combana Wars uh, Defensor Combana Wars Defensor the, the hands are let me see if I can give you a idea they are like this just like a moulded piece of plastic with generic like cannons coming out the ends they can both but the, the, these can actually be either a foot or a hand so they kind of like give you that opportunity and that is they are kind of what the combiner was um you know when you bought them individually like these were the individual sets and everything um that is what the feet and the hands would look like generically but with this set They've actually redefined the feet. They've actually given her kind of like, like high, high heels, like a they've given her actual proper feet rather than the, the generic ones I've just shown you. Um, and the the hands are much smaller and much more feminine. As you can see, the hands really are nice. If we can get this, the camera will focus it's and it's actually articulated as well it's got articulated finger for like weapons so it, they're out the, the, I kind of like the um, I really do like that because the hand that even though it's such a bulky figure you've got proper uh, no, the hands are ridiculously massive uh, but yet you have really nice clunky feet but they actually are very nicely designed okay so here's power magna again let us uh, make sure she is complete. Now, as you can see, this is a head. I'm going to reveal that at the end. As you can see, these silver bits on the side, those flip down, and that then uh, allows you to put the arms into the locking mechanisms. Right, so this is arm number one. So this will go in here like this. Just press in and slot in you just press it in like a little release re mechanism and then push down so that's gone in again very nicely the again you push up sort of these rotors these rotors really do annoy me so that's both arms both legs now connected now what we do here we have rust dust which plugs into a little peg on the front here and then there's a little peg behind the toy like that and then the hands they will post plug into there so there's both hands now in now the feet and uh, yeah so to finish her off to the combined mode bring down these grey bits near the head twist round her head and there it is her head and I really do love her head her head Victorian's combined head is absolutely beautiful I really do like that head and there is Victorian as on the box, um, well, supposed to be on the as on the box combined. First off the bat, the little thing I want to complain about is, and it's a little thing, but the problem is because of these helicopters, the twins. Have you noticed something? Yeah, there's a little little wings on the side of the of the of the arms, and that is kind of 
overlapping and that is a problem with possible po um, movability but anyway so let's have a look at the back that's just slightly just they just they pop down these arms on the back slightly sometimes so just make sure they're all that's it so very tardy it's quite tardy but I really do like it it was worth every penny I paid for it I think that's my opinion and um, so what I'm gonna do now is that is hair done now I'm gonna combine and put together her weapon so here is Victorian's weapon so these are all the individual weapons from each figure the twin swords the staff and the blade axe blade of paramagna and then this I believe is one of the uh, cars and that is also the last one I showed you which is the shield so this all goes together I think I'm not quite sure because it's obviously the first time we're actually putting this sword together here it is all combined it's actually quite simple like I said the big long staff for Paramagna's axe is mainly the thing everything I'll put pegs to and wow that is one hell of a melee weapon that is beautiful um, it has such a it is well crafted as a very well I'm talking about like a real bloody sword here right? but it is well you know the, the the what they've used to kind of model it and everything it is very very nice uh, very knighty you know it does feel like like a knight's like a big massive broad knight sword as if she's bringing down the judgment of the heavens because it does feel like a like an heavenly like a heavenly type of sword really um so it all comes together and i think that's a beautiful way to represent such a great sword is to all the fragments become individual uh weapons for each, uh, for a majority of the uh rust, rust renegades and i think that's a really really nice piece of resistance to finish off this toy um so let's bring her back it is quite a heavy weapon for that for this specific arm but that is just amazing combiner wars victorian all in her splendor just such a great toy and it has an abundance of articulation and I really do like the touch of the uh, the new um, hands and feet that they've done for this set. And it's I just love the head sculpt as well. And I really do like it. So thank you very much for watching. Um, thank you for your wait, for your patience of, of this final part. So next, next time, my friends, be awesome. And goodbye for now.